Your time starts now. Now chefs, this week we have a, a bit of a theme for you. Let's see if you can guess what it is. Today you'll be working with thick cut bacon, fresh squeezed orange juice, uh, large eggs, and pre-made hash browns. Your time starts now. Now, chefs, you should know that even though we gave you breakfast foods, we do not want you to give us back breakfast. We expect a complete dinner entree. When I see these basket ingredients, the only way I know how to combine them all together would be to make a fried rice. Now, even though these are traditional breakfast foods, they are not necessarily exclusively breakfast foods. Bacon, potatoes, eggs, uh, those are almost a uh, universal food. I think she'll have an easier time than she might think. In previous rounds, I always had too much time left at the end, so this time I was really trying to go a little slower. These are all ingredients that are delicious in their own right. So what this is really gonna come down to is creativity and presentation. I grabbed the broccoli so that it'll add some freshness. So far we're seeing some chopped bacon, onion, broccoli, garlic. Uh, all classic Chef Susan ingredients. We don't like to make assumptions of our, of our chefs, but could she be making a stir fry? So we see that she pulled out the Spam as well. Uh, it gets a bad rap, but it's kind of like a skinned hot dog, so it should. I didn't think bacon by itself would be enough sustenance in my fried rice. I also knew we had some Spam, so uh, I decided to grab some of that. So the broccoli is too hard to just stir fry by itself. You have to first blanch it before you can stir fry it. I knew I wanted to cook the bacon first so that I can have the fat left over to cook the hash browns. At the end, I will combine them all into my fried rice. Onions, bacon, there are so many possibilities that you can go with that. What I'm excited to see though is what she does with the hash browns. They are pre-shredded, pre-cooked. I think she's gonna have a bit of a difficult time with that. The orange juice is also gonna be a bit of a struggle. You could use it as a marinade, you could use it in a sauce. It's very acidic, but even more importantly, more than people suspect, it's very, very sweet. I wouldn't dare guess what she's trying to do with the eggs. Uh, they're one of the most versatile ingredients in the world. Chef Susan's really only limited by her imagination. With these eggs, I decided to put some salt and pepper in there to give it a little bit more flavor, and then also a touch of sesame oil to really brighten it up. She put in a bit of the sesame oil into her eggs. Um, I think that confirms that she's going in the Asian direction. She might be trying to make some sort of Stir-fry? That sesame oil, though, I, I saw she was very careful about how much she was putting in. She knows how overwhelming that can be to the palate. She seems to be careful in getting those bacon bits out without taking the fat with it. I think she's gonna try and stir-fry um, something. So my bacon's done and there's a lot of fat left in the pan. I was gonna start the hash brown. Oh, it's the potato that she's stir frying in the uh, bacon fat. Again, we just want to reiterate to all the contestants that we do not want a breakfast dish. Chefs, less than 15 minutes remain. Please do not just give our ingredients back to us slightly warmer. I added the Spam in with the potatoes, hoping to get some of the flavor of the bacon fat in. 
So we now have cooked bacon bits. Uh, we're cooking cubes of spam. We have shredded potatoes cooked in the bacon fat. We have a scrambled egg mix, yet uncooked. We have chopped onion, also uncooked. And we have a uh, container of garlic that has not yet been used. I don't know what she's doing. With almost 10 minutes left in the game, I uh, get really concerned that Chef Susan doesn't quite know what she's doing either. Chef Susan has ran outside to grab some fresh green onion from the garden. My intention is to put that on top as a garnish at the end. I know I say this often, but it seems like she's making a stir fry. I don't know what kind of stir fry the judge is used to eating. <laughs> she could also be making some kind of hash. She's got meat that she's rendered the fat out of, and then she cooked her potatoes into it, and then it looks like she's just throwing a grab bag of whatever uh, I forced her to use into it. Now is the time that I kind of started to panic because I have to cook these eggs and then I have to cook the onion and then I have to stir fry the rice. The onion I save for last. I want to cook it lightly so that it still has the crunch to it. Chefs, just five minutes remain. It looks like Chef Susan's thrown some onions, a bit of minced garlic, and her uh, blanched broccoli from earlier into the pan, so it looks like she's frying that now. Looks like she's added a bit of her bacon as well. It looks like she's thrown some cold leftover rice into the pan with it. <sighs> Is she making a breakfast fried rice? Fried rice, I think, is really the most popular and versatile dish in Chinese culture. It's like the perfect way to empty your pantry. It incorporates every single food group. It has vegetables, it has meats, fats, it has your carbs. It's really the entire food pyramid in one dish, which I can't say there's any better food out there than fried rice. This is your two minute warning, chefs. When I tasted the fried rice, it definitely lacked a little bit of salt. And then there were also some parts of it where the orange juice was a little too pronounced. Really try to cook that flavor out as long as I can. 40 seconds, chefs. Get it plated. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands up. That was the most down to the wire I've ever gone with this cooking challenge, but I think my flavors are, should be there. But I didn't get to add my fresh green onion. I'm really proud of my dish, and I think I've transformed the ingredients. So I hope the judges enjoy. Chef, today I made for you a breakfast fried rice. Please enjoy. Now, Chef Susan, did you hear us when we said we did not want a breakfast food back? So this is a breakfast food fried rice. Now in my culture, fried rice is definitely a dinner entree. An interesting observation. For our viewers, please comment below if you think fried rice is a breakfast food or a dinner entree. I saw you run outside to grab some fresh green onions. Um, I'm not seeing them in here though. What happened? Uh, I did not have time at the end, so the green onions did not make it on the dish. How did you mean to cook the bacon? So I incorporated the bacon, I cooked it to make it crispy, and then I incorporated that into the fried rice. In addition to that, I used the bacon fat to crisp up the hash brown potatoes. How did you utilize the orange juice? Instead of adding sugar and water, I added orange juice, which gives it both moisture and sweetness to balance out the saltiness of the fried rice. The onions are nice and sweet, but the rice is not sweet at all. Instead, there's this underlying flavor of like bitter orange juice pulp. It's a little unsettling and a little unwelcome. I also wish you would have crisped the, the bacon because there's nothing in here with a crispy texture. It is all very soft. It's very one note texturally. And yeah, there is that just lingering orange pulp flavor behind all of it. 
The potatoes, also an opportunity to crisp things up, also an opportunity to add more flavor. Um, and as you said, they did just get lost within the rice because there's so much rice and so little of the crispy potatoes. I think the judge and I can agree to disagree on this one. I thought my dish was delicious and I am very proud of it. I think he's gonna see a lot of disgusting food in the coming weeks. I think I'm ready for my judgment. As far as creativity goes, um, you did give us a breakfast fried rice bag with our breakfast food. There wasn't a lot of transformation. There wasn't a lot of um, utilizing these ingredients in ways I, I wouldn't have expected. But you did have a concept you were able to execute, and for that I give you two out of five. As far as presentation, you were plating down to the very last second. Yeah, I know you didn't have any time for, for fine tuning. There was no accompaniments, there was no garnish, there was no arranging of the items within the plate. It wasn't unpleasant to look at with all that said because there was those seemingly crisp bits of bacon peppered around top. So for that I give you three out of five. As far as taste, it was delicious. There was no way around that. It's not as delicious as it could have been because of that orange, because of the lack of crispiness. Uh, and for those I have to deduct you, but my bowl was clean by the end there and I did enjoy every bite of it. So for that I have to give you three out of five. And unfortunately, Chef Susan, um, for a good dish, it, it pains me to say this, but that is not enough points to pass. We wish you the best of luck in your next attempt.